In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Describe an internal corner on skating boards. To do this job, there's a fine tooth saw, combination square, and a coping saw. You don't need one of these, but if you've got one, it makes life a lot easier. The first thing we need to do is get the shape of the skirting board we need to cut out. And we do that by cutting it on a 45 degree angle. I'll show you that now. If you're not fortunate enough to have a chop saw, then here's how to do it by hand. Mark 45 degree angle on the bottom of the skating board. Then transfer that line up the front. And you can also do it on the back as well. need to cut along that line. Now you can highlight the profile just putting a pencil mark on it. Now for the straight cuts, you want to use a saw that's designed to cut straight. But I'm not going to cut it square down, I'm going to slightly back cut it. So when it goes up to the other piece of skirting board, it'll only be a very front tip that will touch the other skirting. switch to a saw that's designed to cut caves. Now the top cut I keep square but the rest of it I back cut it so again it's only the very front edge that's going to touch the skating board. Keep the coping saw moving. If you stop it and try and twist it, you'll snap the blade. When it comes to cutting in there, you need to turn the blade. Just undo the handle, turn it, make sure the two pegs line up, and again, back cut it.
on, see how we did. Not bad for the first go. The reason we use a scribe joint and not a mitered joint is that if your walls aren't perfectly 90 degrees to each other, then a mitered joint would open up. Whereas a scribe joint allows for a little bit of discrepancy. Now this is MDF. If we were using natural timber and we did mitre it, then over time as the wood dries out and shrinks back, the joint would open up and the paint or the finish would just keep cracking and opening up. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch out for the rest of the videos on how to do skating boards. See you next time.